And that is why I simply cannot bear the thought of having hurt you. And even though I don't know what it is that I did, I want you to know that it doesn't matter. Because I'm prepared to do anything to make it right. And see. No, you don't know what you've done. No! Then how can you apologize for something you don't even know about? I don't know. In summer, winter, spring, and fall, we're friends throughout the year. For untold seasons yet to come, our friendship will be here. For nine, at least. I hate you, Canada. I hate you. Looks like my prayers of the season not flying by hasn't been answered. Canada is going to be showing new episodes every Saturday or whatever. And before you, I know you guys are probably going to ask, oh, just don't watch the episode it's until they come out in the U.S. That's not an option for me after the ADSC with Scooby's parents. I can't risk getting spoiled on anything else. I mean, I did get spoiled on this, but it was only one image, and I don't have the context. So it looks like watching SpongeBob's birthday bash is going to take even longer. I'm calling this in Ju on July 19th. Okay, I see two images. I've seen two images from this episode. One with Rarity in Spike's room, looking. Interesting. And what I just saw with her biting her hoof. So, so it's called Dragon Dropped. Is this the episode where where we touch on Spike's crush on Rarity where she tries to like stop it? Or make or tell him that she has to be all the same way and then just wrapping that up? Are we going to give Rarity Dash just one Rarity episode to make him happy? I'm not going to read the synopsis because I have the opportunity to go in this completely blind. So I'm going to take it. Anyway, I'm just going to say it. Rarity episode. Spike's crush on Rarity episode. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is about something else like Rarity has trouble with her dresses or something and needs Spike. Or whatever. Oh, hi. Are you in here? Hello. Bye. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. I was starting to think you weren't here. I realize this is last minute, but I've decided on a quick trip to the gem cave. Oh, okay. That's an urgent to find some faceted iridescence for my new design. And I can't think of any pony I'd rather have along than my favorite basket holder slash bodyguard. Bodyguard. <laughs> Are you even listening? Spike! Jesus Christ! Oh, hey, Rarity. Honestly, Spike, it's almost as if you haven't been listening. Oh, uh, of course I was, but just to be sure, could you say it all again? I was saying that I had planned on visiting the gym cave. Oh, no! Is that the time? No! <gasps> Oh. Of course you're right. This is a bit of a late start, and those gems won't pick themselves. Uh-huh. But the real question is, which basket do you want to hold? The smaller one, right? <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, Rarity. Can I take a rain check on... What was that again? The... gem cave? Right. Sounds great. But I need to get to the post office before noon. <laughs> All right, very funny. Obviously, you get the bigger basket, and I should. Yeah, that's fair. Bye. Hello. Huh. What is going on, Spike? Do you have a girlfriend now? A dragon girlfriend? Or. What is it? Are you talk? Are you? Do you have a pin pal? Do you have a female pin pal? Well, I guess it was right on my theory of this being a rarity episode. I think this is going to be the very first episode I've watched completely blind, not reading really the synopsis or anything. I don't 
Spike understand. For as long as we've known each other, Spike has never turned down an opportunity to join me here. It's his favorite place. Oh. Ideally, you catch the gems, dear. And for a trip to the post office of all places. Oh. Maybe you should move closer. Who? Why would Spike need Who to does she have? Smolder? He sends mail by breathing. Breathing, darling. Birth mail. Oh. Applejack up. Well, Jack fans are going to be happy about that. Honestly, Applejack, if you're going to fill in, you could make an attempt to hold the basket the way Spike would. And how's that? Well, for one thing, Spike knows how to keep things quiet so as not to waken the bats. And he usually pulls me closely so no gem ever touches the ground. Huh? Rarity, Spike's been following you closely since he got to Ponyville. Yeah. And in case you hadn't noticed, I am Spike! <laughs> oh. Dang it, Applejack! Um, hi, Rarity. What's up? <gasps> My little sidekick down over me. Is a question for Spike. Oh, well, Spike isn't here. I think he's at the post office. Again? What is this? Is this that fainting couch? Post office. Harry, what's going on? Spike declined my invitation to the gem cave. But so? I intend to find out why. Hmm, that doesn't sound like Spike. Did you two have some sort of fight? A fight? Goodness, Twilight, what an equestrian would we fight about? I've had arguments with friends before, and they can put a real strain on friendships. Well, certainly. But I think I'd remember if we had an argument. Maybe you didn't realize it? Do you think you could have done something that unintentionally hurt his feelings? What if I didn't realize what I did? How would I know what I have done when I did it? I wonder if Wow! It certainly would explain his behavior. For what? Oh, that's hardly the point. Wow. Oh, Spikey Wikey. This goes for a grand gesture. A song? Okay, then talk. Yeah. Oh, no. Go away. Go away, what are you doing here? for something you don't even know about. And that is why I simply cannot bear the thought of having hurt you. Even though I don't know what it is that I did, I want you to know that it's just because I am prepared to do anything to make it right. Wow. What? I mean, you are acting it out, so... What are you doing? Obviously, I'm working on my apology to you, Spike. Like, I don't know how I could be more genuine. I mean... Spike! Oh, Spike! Wow! Please, forgive me! You have to look at me! What's with the ice cream? Forgive you, but uh, what, what are you apologizing, apologizing for? for? Why does everybody keep talking about because that? Because you know? No, I'm not mad at you about anything. But, but, but I don't understand. If you're not upset with me, why in Equestria would you refuse to go to the gym? He's busy uh, doing all the jokes. I had other plans. Oh. <gasps> no. 
No, Gabby's gonna be in this episode for longer, no! I don't understand. You, you two know each other? Gabby, Gabby and, I and I are sort, sort of pen, pen pals. pals. Up, yeah. called it. There was, there was this whole thing where I pretended to get a cutie mark because griffins don't get cutie marks, so Princess Twilight had spikes and a bunch of letters off to Griffinstone about the first griffin ever to get a cutie mark, which I really didn't have. Gabby wrote back explaining things, and after that we just started writing back and forth. Turns out we have a lot in common. We both come from cultures that don't have the friendliest of reputations. And we're both in the message sending business. Uh huh. Uh. I sure wish I could send scrolls with my breath. <laughs> Are you gonna get jealous? Uh, yes. Now I understand why you didn't come to the gem cave. Having a friend in town is a rare treat. Look, since you're busy today, maybe we can do something tomorrow. Fabric shopping? I know how you love to pick out the colors. Uh, actually, now that there's a griffin at Twilight School, Gabby's here all the time. <laughs> oh my god, no! <sighs> Speaking of which, I better get going. And I'll fly with you. Well, all right, you two fly along. I'm sure Spike and I can do something some other... Trust me, Spike, you'd rather hang out- you would be better off hanging out with Rarity than Gabby. I cannot decide which shade of purple is the most royal. Or the one in the middle. The ink. How will I ever choose? Oh, uh, too bad Spike's, Spike's not, not here. I know I someone who's gonna like this. Down. He is a good sounding board, isn't he? Oh, montage. Oh, don't. Oh, my God. No, it's cute, but I still don't like Gabby. So you miss Spike because you miss him doing your dragon label. And now you know what it feels like to do Dragon Label. Hmm. Those are for your eyes, that's what to eat those. Closer, Who's flush eye the sign? Spike's always so busy with Apple. No wait, just, just yeah, don't Apple already. How much his presence has meant to me over the years. Even closer, darling. I don't want to prick you. I have to admit everything. Uh, yes. Is it Twilight or Fluttershy? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it is Fluttershy. Oh, darling, it's no use. Thank you for trying. I'm just accustomed to the help of a small, highly attentive dragon. Maybe you should let Spike know how grateful you are for everything he's done for you. Uh, and... hold on. Here comes the image I saw. Uh, uh, yep, that. Sorry, Spike. That's what I saw. I didn't mean to frighten you. Uh, Rarity, what are you doing here? Well, I realize it's late, or rather early, <laughs> but I have a surprise, and I just couldn't wait to share it. The Great Gem Crevasse of the Crystal Mountains. That face. Whoa. It is only accessible once a year, and I thought a little day trip would make a wonderful thank you for all the help you've given me over the years. Oh, but I'm supposed to meet Gabby today for her rounds. I see. 
There's always next year. You know what? I'll just write her a note. Are you sure? Absolutely. Yeah, me. It's been some time of rarity, so she can stop complaining. Wow. Rarity, you weren't kidding. The gem crevasse was amazing. I'll be snacking on these for a week. What did I tell you? Hey, Spike! Gabby, you won't believe where I went today. Actually, I think I will. I got your scroll. The great gem crevasse sounds a lot better than doing my rounds. Mm-hmm. Wow, it was definitely better. I gotta get back to Griffinstone, but you have to tell me all about the crevasse tomorrow. Absolutely. Ah, thanks again, Rarity. What a great day. Okay, start from the beginning, because I want to hear everything. Well, to get to the crevasse, you have to climb across a rope bridge because the air's too thin to fly. That is uh, amazing. Whoa, look out. Whoa! <laughs> Idiot. Sorry, Rarity. Oh, no apology necessary, Spike. In fact, I was just looking for you. You were? Again. Yeah, because I just acquired these. Oh. Passes to power Pony Palooza for today? You mean San Diego Comic Con? I mean Comic Con? I mean Pony Comic Con? I feel I barely scratched the surface of expressing my gratitude for all you do. Well, of course I want to go, but that'll be two days in a row we haven't hung out. So what? Uh, are you kidding? It's Power Pony Palooza. You have to go. And now you'll have two things to tell me about. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's just two days without Spike. Grow up. Ah! My claws sore. Indeed, I had no idea how much walking there is at a power pony convention. Where do you have magic? Help him out. I know I told Gabby we'd hang out tomorrow, but I might need the whole day to rest. Ooh, I know what you mean. Perhaps you could uh, just send her another note. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think maybe you're right. Honestly, I might need to spend tomorrow putting my hooch up as well. <laughs> I had oh. Power Pony Palooza being quite so draining, but I thought we might spend the day recuperating together. No way. Ogres and Oubliettes? Well, I know how much you enjoy it, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity for you to teach me the game. Okay, but now it's three days, she's going to be complaining. Spike! I got your note! I figured I'd come by before my rounds with a bowl of energizing turnip soup. <laughs> Can Princess Schmarity use her shield of the Princess food Schmarity. to defend herself from Purveyor of poor color coordination. Uh, she can try. No, I kind of like that. Oh. Success! Shmerity Shield holds against the green eyed monster's attack. And that bike? You're cheating on oh. me? Hi, Gabby. We were just. Your scroll said you were too tired to do anything today. But I guess you were just too tired to do anything with me. Everyone's too tired to do anything with you. I can come with you on your rounds right now. I don't think so, Spike. Maybe I'll just handle the rounds on my own. I mean... Now. Ooh! Princess Schmarity uses her prismatic beam to change that Aww. color to a more pleasing shade of purple. Nah, eh, she'll get over it. Don't worry about her, Spike. Speaking of which, I like that... Spike and Rarity are kind of developing a... What do you think, Spike? Solid or print? A platonic friendship. Prince, I guess. You already have a lot of solid colors. Oh, you are so right. Prince it is. So nice to have you back, Spike. Although, uh, I wasn't able to reconcile with Gabby. Wait, no, 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 I don't feel bad for- sure she doesn't want to. Oh, 
poor Spike. I quite enjoyed our day together, Spike. Yeah. Hi, Spike. Uh-huh. Aww. Uh, I've never seen Spike this sad before. Do you know what happened? <clears throat> yes, well. Oh, no, she knows what happened. So did I. And I don't care. I don't think that's it. Well, I suppose it's possible it could have something to do with <clears throat> Gabby not wanting to spend time with him anymore. What? I thought the two of them were hanging out all the time. They were. Honestly, it took everything I had to convince him to spend any time with me at all. But between crystal gem crevasses, power pony conventions, and a marathon game of O and O, I managed to get some time in. It sounds like you made sure he didn't have any time to spend with Gabby at all. What? <laughs> I certainly did not. I mean... Well, I suppose I may have monopolized him a teeny bit. <sighs> I've just grown so used to having Spikey Wikey around. I wasn't prepared for how much I'd miss him when he wasn't. Friendships change, but just because Spike made a new friend doesn't mean he stops being yours. I know, but now Didn't I this the exact same lesson to be taught this Discord? I'll have to get used to. Right after I fix this mess I've made. Good talk. Oh. Wow. Spike again? Wouldn't it be easier to just give it to him? And why are you even here? I am here to apologize, actually. More to confess. <laughs> all this stuff isn't for Spike. It's the evidence against me. Evidence? For what? For my acts of utter selfishness. I don't understand. These are the items I used to lure Spike into spending as much time with me as possible. They are? You did? Rarity, what are you doing? Well, obviously, I'm apologizing to Gabby so the two of you can renew your friendship, Spike. Now, please, even if you can't forgive me, you simply must forgive <gasps> Spike! Oh. oh! I actually owe you an apology, too. You apologize a lot. Yeah. I wish you I like knew. Wilt. But the more time you two spent together, the more I missed my time with Spike, and the more I used every means at my disposal to get it back. I am truly sorry. You really miss spending time with me? Hmm. Oh, of course. I have to say, after not hanging out with you, I understand why. You're kind of awesome. Yeah. I don't know what it's like to miss that now, too. So, do you think maybe we could start hanging out again? Absolutely. I don't suppose you'd like some company on your rounds right Aww. now. Oh, I sure would. We're going to start I shipping I these two. I am that the two of you have... <laughs> Reconciled. I suppose Twilight is right. Friendships do change. Of course, Spike and I will always be friends, and I can get used to sharing him. Oh, Pinky! I forgot Sorry, about Pinky. I just didn't want to drop another one and wake the bats. Darling, catching the gems is what the basket is for. Wow, you two need to be a lot quieter. Ah. Spike, how wonderful to see you. Yeah, Gabby and I had a great day, but I'll always still want my rarity time. Everyone wants some rarity time. Especially oh, one person I know. Oh. Thank you, Pinky. I really liked that episode. I mean, despite all the Gabby that was in it. She's a- she's a Mary Sue. That's basically it. She's a Mary Sue. And it gets on my nerves. She doesn't need to exist. But I'm happy that Spike made a new friend to bond with. And like I said before, I like how he and Rarity are kind of developing a platonic relationship. And it's not really- well, he it doesn't really seem like he has a crush on her anymore, which I like. So, I guess we can cross that one item off my list now. Everybody else, if you're watching this, 
There! You got your one rarity episode! Or maybe there might be another one, I don't know. You happy now? Okay, I know I think I said I like this episode. I have some rewatches. I still like it, but I feel like I need to complain about something. And my big complaint is Rarity. She was just... She was just absolutely selfish, and it kind of got on my nerves. And I have a very strong feeling that Rarity Dash is going to absolutely... Hold on a second. I have a big feeling that Rarity Dash is going to absolutely hate this episode just for how selfish Rarity was being in it. I mean, maybe I could be wrong. You might think it's okay. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to repeat anything I said before. That's just the one thing I have to complain about. And I mean, I'm glad she said I hope you and Gabby made up. Because if she just spent the whole third act just being completely oblivious to Spike's sadness, I would have had a big problem. But overall, I still like this episode. Probably not in my top ten. But I still like it. I I just think it would have been better if there was no Gabby. Seriously, she is so annoying. Why do people like her? Why is she a character that needs to exist? Why is she a character that needs to be around? And also, she was being such a baby about Spike and Rarity hanging out together. Like, grow up. Gabby, how about you grow up and stop being so selfish just because Spike didn't want to hang out with you for three days in a row. Ugh. <sighs>